Hi, I'm Sven. Welcome to our workshop. This is the next step on making the Winchester lock uh, single hasp. So today we're going to make this into a slide. So we need to cut out these pieces and uh, clean it up and then make some other adjustments. So we're going to start off uh, with the vise and a cutting disc in on a angle grinder. Now remember to wear the PPE. So I've got my glasses on, the apron and my earmuffs. So this is going to get a bit noisy. We're going to do a number of cuts with the angle grinder. I may need to replace the So this is just mild steel, but it's all that's required for the job. Thanks for listening. Okay, once you have the words in pot. So that's the rough, rough shaping done. Um, so the next step is actually rolling this pit. And we're just going to do it cold in the vise with a big hammer. Okay, we're going to roll this now. Could you pass me one of the turn ones? So we're going to roll this piece so it looks like that. So the key actually has a point that goes into that slide to help it move forward and back. Okay, we secure the piece. Okay, so that's at right angles to the slide. So the next piece, we've actually put need to put a stop on it, but I need to clean that bit up first. So yes, the slide goes backwards and forwards. This engages the the hasp, and this is um, bent to make a stop. So I'll just clean that one up. So, to make that into a stop, we're just going to do a bit more cold work and turn that at my angles to the bar. Just using the big hammer again.
So there you go. We've got the slide with the piece at right angles for the end of the key and I'll show you a key. So if you have a look, the key has got a point at the end and two points at right angles to that. So the key goes into a hole and then turns and engages two holes in the top of the slide. So the next step is attaching the slide to the, to the lock plate. So it goes that way. And to do that we use these slide gu guides or lugs as I call them. So they sit on either side of the slide and are riveted in place to hold the the, um, the guide to the lock plate and we attach a, a spring to hold the slide in place so it can't just be knocked uh, by gravity or anything else. So there you go. That's that step.